What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Neg Entropy Chronicles. So, if you saw this title, I want you to be disturbed and willing to learn something. Because, like it says, 77% of this Baltimore high school cannot read past a kindergarten or first grade level. And shout out to my boy Brian. He posted it. I found it. I had to read the article. I ain't read all of it yet, so I thought I'd share it with y'all and we can look at it together. So let's not waste no more time and get into it, all right? So 77% of students at one Baltimore high school read at, kin at elementary kindergarten level. Now this is posted on February 5th this year. So this is not some old stuff, this is new. More than three quarters of students at one Baltimore high school are reading at an elementary level with many reading at a kindergarten level. Fox Baltimore reported that a teacher at Patterson High School, one of the largest high schools in the city, came forward with information showing 77% of students at the schools were found to have an elementary school reading level. Patterson has a 61% graduation rate and a $12 million budget. The teacher has not been identified to protect them from retaliation. Think about that. You gotta be nervous about retaliation. Why? Because you were snitching which a lot of people do not appreciate, even if you ain't in on the streets. So, I ready assessments are given in Baltimore City Schools to help determine at which grade level a student is performing in math and reading. The scores are not made public. If the media requests them, the district will redact most of the results. That's problematic. But Project Baltimore obtained the results for all of the students tested at Patterson High School. The outlet reported in reading 628 Patterson High School students took the test. This is where it gets interesting. Out of those students, 484 of them, or 77%, tested at an elementary school reading level. That includes 71 high school students who were reading at a kindergarten level and 88 students reading at a first grade level. Another 45 are reading at a second grade level. Just 12. 12 students tested at Patterson High were reading at grade level, which comes out to 1.9%. When Fox asked the teacher how a student with such a low reading school score could make it to high school, the teacher said they're pushed through. They're not ready for the workforce. They're not ready for further education, the teacher said. These numbers aren't lying, the teacher added. We truly need the families to see these numbers and to understand what it is. Fox noted that Baltimore City Schools have a one fail policy, meaning that students can only fail a grade once before ninth grade. After one fail, the student will be pushed onto the next grade, no matter how poorly they have done. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's insane. I didn't even read that part. So this is all new for me while I'm reading it to you. The revelation comes at the same time that Maryland Public Policy Institute released a report showing that Maryland taxpayers are paying millions of dollars for ghost students, those who do not attend school. Wow. The endemic enrollment fraud in Baltimore schools is a crime, not only against Maryland taxpayers who pay 70% of the city's education costs, but against the children that these schools are meant to serve. Sean Kennedy, a visiting fellow with MPPI, told the center square so fraudulently listing non-existent students is bad enough but the school system has demonstrated cruel indifference towards those who are chronically truant or flat out missing many of whom are vulnerable and potentially at risk of neglect abuse and are being denied an education kennedy added worse baltimore's enrollment irregularities are not new but a tradition with evidence of at least 15 years of enrollment fraud in its schools. 15 years, my God, this is awful. This is not the first indication that Baltimore schools are in need of serious reform. In July, 2021, the Daily Wire reported that following COVID shutdowns, four in 10 Baltimore public high school students earned a below 1.0 grade average. Sheesh, ugh or GPA, grade point average. And failing grades wouldn't keep students from moving on to the next grade. <sighs> wow, wow. Now, <sighs> that's rough because uh, shout out to Kevin Samuels. You know, he has mentioned this before that a lot of young 
kids or older children are reading at a fourth grade level. Now, this actually shows the average because you're talking about kindergarten, first grade, second grade level. Then 12 of those students, just 12 out of 600 plus students are actually reading at the level that they're supposed to. Now, this actually breaks down to the family structure and why the family structure is needed. This probably based on parents who are single family households that are working multiple jobs, unable to be there for the kids. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that when your kids are going into school, you have to make sure that they understand their ABCs and their one, two, threes. Some reason a lot of parents don't get that. They think that the schools are supposed to raise these kids in the sense of education, but it always starts at home. If your kids are unable to read before they get into school, they get held back or the potentiality to be held back. You're talking about schools that house anywhere from 15 to 30 children. That's a lot of kids to work with with a short amount of time. And if the parents aren't willing to work with them, if they're not willing to put them in special tutoring outside of school hours or even during the summertime, these kids don't get a leg up or they don't, they're not able or capable to hang with the kids who are able to read at that level needed. But to have this fraud or to have this policy where they're only allowed to fail once and then they're just pushed through is terrible it is god awful you know i think there is showing that to me it's a prison pipeline thing because if they're unable to read they're illiterate things of that nature and they can't get a job what are they going to do commit crime they commit the crime then guess what they go to jail which means that they can fill them up in the jails but guess what happens when a lot of these illiterate people go to jail then they learn how to read because they gotta be educated on their cases, things like that, they have to learn. People teach them in jail. But why are we allowing the system to raise the children? Why aren't the pa parents doing it? Well, you don't know the lifestyle they came from. They might've came up rough. We're not talking about the kids, we're talking about the parents. So if you came up rough, why would you emulate that and put your kids in a position to where they have to repeat what you went through? Why are you con continuing the negative cycle? When it comes to education, if you can't read, why would you bring a kid in the world where you wasn't making sure that they were able to read? You know, think about it. Me reading that article, if it was somebody in that school, they would not be able to read that article because they don't have the capability to read a lot of those words that were being presented. That's troublesome and problematic. This is something that's not supposed to be normal. This is not something that's supposed to be okay. This should be frowned upon. This should be fixed. And it has to start at home. People, if you have children, you have to make sure that they're ahead of the game before they even get into the schools. The reason in being is because if they're not intelligent enough to handle school, they're not intelligent enough to deal with life. Because you may be thinking that, oh, the information I'm giving them about the streets is gonna keep them good. No. That's only one part of the world. Yeah, I can teach you how to be aware of your surroundings, keep an eye when you do this, don't do that. Woo, woo, woo. But if they can't read the signs when they're walking down the street, who's to say they, 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 they're they gonna know what their areas to stay away from? Yo, stay away from Martin Luther King Drive because that's where all the bloods is at. But if you don't show them because they can't read the signs and they take that left or that right on that wrong part of the street, it's over. I think we've lost the concept of what parents are. People, parents think that feeding and keeping a child clothed is raising a child. Shout out to Shahrazad Ali. She said, no, you're just maintaining the child. You're not actually raising them. Think about it. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Be on the lookout for more videos. And remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace.